Hello students, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the general characteristic of the class Basidiomycetes of kingdom fungus. Now see Basidiomycetes, they are the most advanced member. Most advanced member of the kingdom fungus. And the fruiting body which they make, okay, the fruiting body are visible also. For example, mushroom. So fruiting bodies are, you can say they are very big in size. So it is visible to our earth. So we can see them. For example, mushroom. This is the one which we consume. It is an edible. Now let us discuss about the mycelium of it. Mycelium, if you know, we have already discussed in the general characteristic of fungus, but still you can see here, mycelium is septate with dolipore septa. See, this is the dolipore septa is present. Here, dolipore septa will be there. Clear, beta? And uh, in between them, you are finding the nuclear separation. So you are finding it is having monokaryotic mycelium also. Let me draw this as monokaryotic with one nucleus and it can be with dikaryotic. So this is I'm writing monokaryotic mycelium with dolipore septa or you can say primary mycelium. It can be secondary mycelium also with again dolipore septa. Secondary mycelium means dikaryotic mycelium. The two nuclear separation will be done. So this is one nucleus and let me use the different color for the second nucleus. So this is dikaryotic mycelium. So it is having two type of mycelium, monokaryotic mycelium and dikaryotic mycelium. Now see which mycelium is dominant and which is short lived. In case of basidiomycetes, we are finding primary mycelium is short-lived. This is short-lived and secondary mycelium is dominant phase. Clear? Now, let me draw just once again the diagram. This is the cell wall of the fungus and this is your dolipore septa and end will be swelling up this way to form a barrel shaped structure clear beta you are understanding it this is how the end are swelling up to form the barrel shaped structure and we call this as a dolipore septa now on the either side of the dolipore septa you are finding this structure this is known as paranthosome this will be present parenthosome. So this is a special feature of the basidiomycetes that they are having this structure. Is it clear? Parenthosomes are present around this and this is your septa. This is your dolipore septa. Now main thing is this, that they are not showing any asexual spore. Important characteristics of basidiomycetes, please focus. Here, motile structure are absent. Motile structure are absent. And here you will find that they don't have any mitospore. Please, it is very important point with respect to the competitive point. Mitospores are absent. Means in the previous classes, if you know, in the phycomycetes, they are making zoospore or aplanospore. Ascomycetes was making conidia, but they will not make any asexual spore. So they will show only vegetative method of propagation. Vegetative method will be there of reproduction. Means that is fragmentation, you know very well. That is fragmentation. Now, if they have to show sexual method of reproduction, sexual method in them, all, no sex organs are also there. Sex organs are absent. 
means you can't say they have enthridia you can't say they have got ugonia nothing they are having only two hypha one will work as a plus another will work as a minus means two different hypha of mating type will be there let us assume this is a spore which is germinating to form one mycelium with a dolipore you can understand this diagram okay and here you are finding it is having only monokaryotic condition another spore is germinating second spore is also germinating with the dolipore septa only will be there and you are finding it is having another type of nucleus so this mycelium is working as plus let us assume and this mycelium is working as minus so it is having two different type of mycelium please it is important note it they possess mycelium of different mating type means one mycelium will work as plus another mycelium will work as minus so plasmogamy in them it will be only by somatogamy method so in them plasmogamy which is the one step if you know sexual reproduction has got three steps plasmogamy karyogamy and meiosis so I'm, we are discussing right now first step that is plasmogamy will occur only by somatogamy okay it will be by somatogamy now see this is let us assume this is your one mycelium okay this is your dolly percepta present with a plus strain okay this is let us assume this is your plus strain another mycelium is coming in contact with the minus strain this is with the minus strain okay the two mycelium are coming in contact now see the board carefully analyze it these two mycelium when they are coming in contact see they will slowly slowly come in contact and the two nuclei will be here means one plus nuclei will be here and one minus nuclei will be here means two different color nuclei will be here i hope you have understood my diagram now they have to make the dicaryotization equally now this dicaryotic mycelium which is there it should have equal distribution of the two nuclei means equal distribution means one if suppose here plus is coming here plus is coming then only minus should come and here minus should come now if you see i use this word i told this is a spore which is in nature and they give rise to first this is primary mycelium and see immediately after this spore germination see they are immediately going for plasmogamy to give rise to secondary mycelium so it means primary mycelium is coming only for short duration and they generally prefer to live as a secondary mycelium this is the main phase they want to live it now how do they maintain the dicaryotic condition we should know it plasmogamy which is having the two nucleus one is plus nucleus one is minus nucleus okay now how it has to spread first you see this diagram understand it very carefully see this is your again dicaryotic condition will be coming i have to send the nucleus here so what will happen at this side one handle like outgrowth will come check this handle like outgrowth is coming at this side okay so let me draw the nucleus near the septa only so that it will be easy for you so this one nucleus is going for mitosis in this sept handle like septa okay another nucleus will go for mitosis here understood first of all nucleus are going for mitosis now see what change
see the board analyze it very carefully this handle which was there it is continuously growing and growing and growing along in front of you only i will explain it please try to understand it also in the class only see here it is going and fusing on the opposite side i think so this diagram is clear to you okay and this nucleus which was dividing near the handle this nucleus which was dividing near the handle from this side this nucleus will come into this side and this nucleus blue color which i am using as a plus was dividing near the nuclear pore means near this sorry no sorry not nuclear pore it is this a dolly pore it will come through this pore come here understood so this is the way how dicarotization is spreading so we will say dicarotization is spreading with the help of clamp connection This is clamp connection. So dicarotization is spreading by the help of clamp connection. Is it clear? So let me draw the final diagram. What you will observe it. Yeah. Okay. This is your dolly four septa. Let us make three four septa so that we can understand easily. So from here you have to make this hook like structure. see this hook like is made from here just a sec this hook like is coming from here and this way handle like out growth this is your clamp connection understood beta so from here this one nucleus which is here second will pass from here after mitosis here again it will pass from here mitosis one copy so every time if you see finally you are finding each is having their own nucleus as well as equal distribution is going on so your final answer will be if you see let us rub this now let us rub all these things which i am making as a passing let us rub it see carefully i think so the two nucleus have been equally distributed or not are you able to understand the two nucleus have been equally distributed analyze it very carefully you find equal distribution of nucleus has been done clear beta so who is helping in equal distribution of nucleus so equal distribution of nucleus is because of the clamp connection which is responsible for proper dicarotization and as a result if you see both uh, septa separation is actually showing one plus and one minus so this is how the secondary mycelium is bringing about the spreading of the dicarotization and if you see this structure which is made this is your clamp connections okay so we call this a it is spreading is going by clamp connection now up to here is it clear so it will enjoy with the dicaryotic mycelium which is very dominant and after this it will go for karyogamy so let me assume one hypha let us assume this is one hypha okay with this condition and on this you are finding basidia is born this is basidia which is having this steric matter okay so this is basidia which is club like structure that is why bas basidiomycetes are also known as club fungus so inside this one plus my nu nucleus will be there one minus nucleus will be there so dicaryotic phase is going on now after some time what we will find that these two nucleus have moved there so let me rub it so that you can understand it properly they have moved here so please now in this structure karyogamy will occur please focus karyogamy will occur in basidia so karyogamy will occur in basidia clear and after karyogamy meiosis will also occur here only 
So first, let us do the karyogamy. Okay, let us do the karyogamy and make you understand. Ki the two nucleus are fusing. This is the way the two nucleus fusion is going on. Okay, the two nucleus fusion is going on. So karyogamy is achieved in basidia. After karyogamy, then your third step will be meiosis. So this is the third step. Okay, after plasmogamy, karyogamy has occurred and now meiosis has to occur. So now see the mycelium change. See this way. I have drawn two basidia now. Now after this meiosis, on top of it, two spores will be of plus. Two spore will be of plus and two spore will be of minus. So these are your spores. Total number is always four, out of which two will be of plus nature and two will be of minus nature. Now, if you see carefully, deciduous pores are made on the steric matter. So it is exogenous spore. Exogenous spore formation is going on. Is it clear? And finally, they will also make a floating body that is known as basidiocarp. See, basidiocarp is a floating body. which has decidio spore, which is the sexual spore. This is sexual spore. And I think so it is made after meiosis, the ploidy of this spore will be M. Please, it is again very important question. Okay, so basidio carp has basidio spore, which is born on basidia. Basidia is a club. So it is born on Basidia. So this is your exogenous spore. So please learn it properly. Ki who is the fruiting body? Basidiocarp is a fruiting body. And which is a sexual spore? Sexual spore is a Basidio spore. But they don't make any asexual spore. Is it clear? Very, very important. They are born exogenously. Please learn it. They are born exogenously. Okay. I hope up till here your concept of the general structure of Basidiomycetes topic is clear. Thanks for watching class.